This is part one of our illuminated letter box demonstrations. In order to start working on clay, you need to have a sketch. The sketch has to show your letter, whatever is going on the frame, and the background of the letter. I'm going to be showing you how to create the background today. I have a really simple background. The background has to somehow be incised, which means that we are carving into the clay. When you carve into the clay, you use a carving tool. When we cut the clay to size, we're going to be using a ruler and a cutting tool. Other ways to incise into the clay besides just carving is stamping. So there are small stamps and large stamps. When I'm done creating my background using my carving, I'm gonna show you how to use the stamps. So the first thing you need is a sketch that has all the elements on it so you know what to do. But this is flat and so we always make a plan. So my background has to be carved, so I have on here that I'm carving out stars. I want kind of 1950s looking stars, so that's what I'm going for. The letter is an S that also has to be carved. I will show you how to do that in the next video. Um, I want my S to look like it is smoke or now flames coming from the rocket. And then finally, the, the frame on this has to have 3D elements added on. That's called applique. And for me, I decided I was going to have little aliens going around. Um, that way our little rocket man um, has little friends to be with. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear the decks. I rolled out a slab in the slab roller. And I'm going to work on the table and not on my slab mat. Um, one of the things that I want to do is make sure that the surface is perfect. So I'm going to grab a rib that is pretty clean. And I'm going to make sure that I rib the surface of my clay. Even the slab mat has a texture. And we don't, I don't want that texture, and neither do you in your project. Also, this is going to be a really big slab that's going to be flat. And so one of the most important things that we need to do is compress the clay to stop cracks from happening. I am just running the rib across from one side to the other, and I'm pressing down slightly. We learned how to do this in our last project. So... To make my life easier, I'm definitely going to put this towards the edge. You never cut out from the center. You always go towards the edges and you make sure that your whole thing fits on here. I'm going to line the ruler up with the edge of the paper so that I can just barely see the edge of the paper. I'm going to put my tool down. It's going to be going straight up and down, and then I'm going to cut. I always cut going towards me, so I'm going to lift this up, put it back down. Notice when I lift it up, I grab it by both ends. The safest way to cut is to cut going towards you. That way you never are in danger of anything bad happening. like your paper slipping or horrible things. I'm also gonna make sure every time I cut and I move stuff that I have my paper lined up really well so that I'm cutting 90 degree angles, that nothing is getting off and it's not gonna be funny. And the thing is, if I were to cut this way, I wouldn't be able to see the edge of the paper. Neither are you. But for sure, in my viewpoint, I cannot see where the edge of the paper is here. So I would just be guessing. That's also one of the reasons why I'm lifting this up. 
take off any little boogers, any little nurdles, any little craziness that's going on. Remember, we're going to see the edge of this project. This is our this is the box top. So this has to look really good. So I'm putting my ruler on here again and I am cutting. That's it. I just made a background. Now, because again, this is something that everybody's going to see. I'm going to look What's the good side? What's the bad side? I'm going to put the good side up. I'm going to go on here. I'm going to get my carving tool and I'm going to figure out where things go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where my frame goes. That way I don't, if, because remember, I'm drawing in this by hand. If I was not drawing this in by hand, I probably wouldn't care where my frame is going to go. But I want my little stars in there by hand. So, and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to draw my stars. I want my stars to be random. So I'm not going to worry too much about what in my background is going to be on here because I just want them to be these really cute little random pieces. If you need to draw something that is in a specific place, you can put your whole sketch on here and draw in where your sketch is. I just don't want my stars accidentally going into my background. I also don't want my stars to look perfect, by the way. So that's part one. Part one is how to do your background with just carving or simple shapes. So this is perfectly acceptable. I'm done. I don't want any more stars on here. So I think that looks really cute. What would I do next? Well. The next thing that I could do is I'm going to show you how to make a background with a large stamp and then I'm going to show you how to make a background with a small stamp. So the small stamp goes the same way. I can just take the small stamp and really neatly stamp in my little flowers. So, I'm not pressing too hard. The reason why I'm not pressing too hard is because I do not want to see this edge of my stamp. So I'm lining it up and I'm just pressing, 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 pressing so that I get one full length of these stamps. These guys are on my desk, so anybody who wants to look and see what stamps we have can have the stamp. If you have a stamp at home and you're like, ooh, I want this stamp, do the same thing. Whatever is on the outside of the stamp pushes into the clay. We also have large stamps, and the large stamps are the full size of your project. So you can take the large stamp, Put it, and look, your project should be half the size of a piece of paper. So this large stamp will be the full size of your project. So this large stamp is going to be perfect for your project. And you can take the stamp, put it on top of the clay. Then you have two choices here. You can bring this to the slab roller Put your clay on top of a slab mat and have a slab mat on top of the clay the way that you normally do it. Or if you want to do this from your desk, you can just take it, use a rolling pin, press as hard as you can, and voila. So this is a large stamp, this is a small stamp. A lot of students really like this. This is definitely one of the options that you can do for your project if you want to do a full carving. So if you wanna say, 
have a really interesting shape that looks like it is popping out, you can also do that. So these are the things that you can do for your background on your illuminated letter.